Hello, my name is Nico, and today I wanted to talk to you about the UMake Editor interface. To access the UMake Editor, simply tap the blue plus button on the bottom of the interface when you open up UMake. You'll be guided to an area where you can create from pre-made kits, or to create your own, you're going to tap on the blank. This will open up the UMake Editor. When you first open up the UMake Editor, you'll see something that looks like a grid, a few icons along the bottom of the interface, a few sets of glasses up here, and a couple other random icons around. This may seem a little strange, but that's why we're making this video. To start off, in the lower left corner by default, you'll find the orbit button. The orbit button is what allows you to move around in space. We have another video dedicated just for the orbit button, which I encourage you to watch if you haven't already. Moving up from the orbit button, we're going to go over to what we call the top menu. The top menu is where you find a few various icons that each have specific functions. The arrow right here will take you back to your creations. The button with the plus on it will duplicate the file that you are working on. So if you're working on something and want to make a duplication of it, you can do it here. The next two look like little pencils and pens. You have the pencil tool and the pen tool. These change the way that the stroke that you draw in UMake look. So for example, if I activate the pencil tool, it'll look more like a pencil. If I activate the pen tool, it'll have a cleaner, crisper line. Tapping on either one of these that's already activated will bring down the ability to change the color, change the stroke weight, and also activate freestyle mode. Freestyle mode allows you to sketch in you make without having the curves corrected. There will be another video dedicated just to freestyle mode. For now, this is where you can find it. The next icon is your augmented reality uh, viewer, which if you are outside or in a room and want to see your creation, Tap on that and you'll be guided to see your model in augmented reality. The small arrow next to that is where you can share your creation. Right now I have nothing to share, but you'll, if, by tapping that, it'll enable the process to share whatever you've made. Moving over, you have your views. Here you have the front, the back, the right, the left, the top, and the bottom, as well as a view all. The views can be collapsed. I generally tend to leave them open all the time. Next to that, you can activate the side menu. The side menu has many options that you can choose from. By default, it opens up with the design school. Design school is where you can find quick tutorials as well as basic information about how to use UMake. If you're new to UMake, I highly encourage you to check out the design school within the app. Below that is our playground. This is where you can find pre-made shapes, both in 2D and 3D, for anything that you might uh, want to create. So we have primitives, we have things for fashion, architecture, transportation, product, character, concept art, environment art, uh, some studio objects, as well as uh, files that you've already created. You'll find all of that under the playground. Next up is photos. This is where you can bring in photos that you've already created or that you already have on your iPad. You can also use the camera to take a new photo. So if you've done a sketch on a piece of paper or napkin, you can use the camera to do that. We'll have tutorials dedicated just to the photo section as well. In addition, we have a list of pre-made textures that you can use uh, to drag and drop onto your creations, as well as backgrounds that you can use. Next up is the layers function. Layers allow you to create objects on separate layers, which basically lets you then turn them on or off. So uh, we'll have a video dedicated just to layers, but you can find it in the side panel. Next up is your view tools. Uh, this allows you to turn on what you see uh, while you're creating in UMake. So if you want to turn off curves or turn them on, surfaces, groups, etc., cetera, uh, axes, etc., cetera. we'll have a tutorial dedicated just to that. However, for now, uh, you can find it in the side panel. Your atmosphere, this is uh, kind of the environment that you're creating in. You can change that with pre-made ones, for example. So if I want something that looks like that, 
or I can clear that and I can make the background a solid color. This is where you can find that. Both of those sit in the view panel. Next up, we have the settings. This is where you can uh, dictate some of the settings and parameters that you're working with, such as uh, whether the quick menus are on or off. The quick menus are down below here. Uh, if you're using an Apple Pencil or not, changing the design units and dimensions that you're working with, and turning on snap tools, symmetry, and ortho mode. Next up is the export tool. So if you're a UMake Pro subscriber, this is where you'll find your export functions. Uh, you can also save to photo, publish to the community, and copy your models to other apps as well. Next, we love you, uh, our community. If you want to share UMake, you can do that easy. We've made it really easy to share the love uh, in the love panel. Uh, so you can go to Facebook, Twitter. Um, you can uh, see our team on the website, etc. by tapping any of these options. And last but not least, a very important thing, uh, support. So you can find uh, support through Umake. We have a very good support team at Umake, and uh, you can report a bug, send feedback, uh, view the status of your tickets and access forms all from within the application. Next, down below, you may or may not have these three icons. Uh, these are your quick tools. If you don't have your quick tools, again, you can just go to settings and you can activate your quick menus, and that will be here. And this allows you to activate things like symmetry, ortho, and snap tools. Uh, we'll have a, a tutorial on all of those things, but for now, uh, you can access them from the quick tools. Coming back over close to the orbit button, you have the option to uh, toggle the trim tool on or do a connect edges function. Uh, both of those will be covered. You have the lasso tool. This allows you to make a selection of multiple objects. Tapping on the lasso tool and dragging around multiple objects will select them. And then if I were to do something, for example, I now have the option to undo it and redo it. So I drew this curve, I can undo it and redo it. Those uh, functions are there. If I double tap on this curve to select it, it'll activate what we call uh, the side menu. So not to be confused, this is a side panel. This is our side menu. The panel is always there, very little changes on the panel. In the menu, however, this is where when you are working with an object, either a curve or a surface, you get the options on what to do with it. So with a curve, for example, I can mirror it, I can edit it, I can reshape it, extrude it, revolve it, create an array with it, or even erase it. And depending on what I do, this menu is dynamic. So if I go to edit it, for example, you'll see that the only option I have now is to tap Done. However, if I reselect it and extrude it, you'll see that I have multiple options. I can turn the wireframe on or off, and I can make an extruded surface. So uh, that is the dynamic uh, nature of these tools. If I tap Done, I can now come in, or I can even select the surface, and now with the surface selected, I get a whole nother level of tools or set of tools. In addition, you'll see that the top menu has now changed now that I have a surface selected. I can change the color of the surface up here, and I can also add or subtract materials from the surface. So if I want to make it brass, for example, I can make it brass or I can go back to plain. Add a color to it, and there you go. So that is, from a global standpoint and a quick overview, the Umake Editor's interface. It's pretty easy to use. It does take a little bit of practice, but uh, once you start using it, you'll get used to it. If you have any questions or feedback or comments for us, feel free to let us know on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or send us an email, and we would love to hear from you. That's it for the Editor uh, overview. Uh, we really can't wait to see what you create and you make, and we hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care.